WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of mostly sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently we have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the upside. All the sectors in the S&P 500, gold, silver, lights, weed, crude, natural gas, treasury bonds, everything is mean and green, the exception being the U.S. dollar index, which is down $2.35. The Dow is up 916, about 3%. Uh, about 3 the S&P 4 and a quarter percent, 160 points there. NASDAQ is up nearly 6%, same with the Russell, 611 and 98 points, respectively. Nearly 7% for the semis, 162 points to the upside there. Let's go take a look at a nine-panel market update chart. We begin in the upper left-hand corner as soon as we get there with the ES Mini. What's the ES Mini doing? Well, it's trading right into resistance or potential resistance. That is its TD nine-count top that took place in the bar following bar number nine on October 28th. Should the ES Mini close above 39.24.25, it'll negate that signal and suggest higher price. Spot volatilinix is well below its 50-day exponential moving average, which is at 27.33. The spot right now is at uh, 23.08. What is the one-day rate of change there? Just curious. One-day rate of change on the spot is uh, just, uh, well, it's down 11%. So if we do get a spot volatility set, well, well, we'll come back to that later in the show. Let's get back to that market update chart out here. You got the NQ, which is uh, trading. It looks like it wants to go target the 11.631 area. That's the top of its daily profile. That would be a likely outcome with that U.S. dollar index right now in an A to B equals CD to the downside. Now, the 1 to 1 price projection there is 107.66, but more likely than not, this will turn out to be more than a 1 to 1 A to B equals CD and therefore should target the 107, 106.20 area. Goldilocks truly taking off, likely going to go target the top of its weekly profile. That's at 17.79. Silver's got a nice A to B equals CD pattern. Its next price projection is 22.09. Lightspeed Crude has held the support of its... Uh, a weekly center profile level. That's at 85.62. Natural gas still consolidating with inside its bullish structure daily profile. It should be able to make a run for the 651 area. And the 30-year treasury, it is trading into resistance. That's the top of a daily profile. Let's open up this chart right here. We haven't seen a close above the top of a daily profile, well, in quite some time. That quite some time would take us back to the trading day of August 1st, 2022. So it's trading into resistance. That's the zone of 123.14 to 124.09. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show if you would. But if you're starting your Thursday, please have a terrific day. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care now.